Hello, fellow engineers. This is Lieutenant Commander Zaflo reporting for duty. Today, I have the third place entry in the USE, no, UESC uh, construction contest number 43. This is the um, Devastator class orbital siege cannon by Mach Velocity. I guess it uh, is, a, in my opinion, actually the snazziest looking station I've laid my eyes on in recent times. Look at the, the, just that. It's, hold on, let me clean that up a bit here. It's got these, these arms. I just can't get over that. And then, and, and also I've been puzzling over this top part here because there's a merge block there is and I didn't figure out, I didn't figure it out because this looks like maybe a secondary, I don't know, but I want to find out, um, if I can. Anyway, if I could uh, do a good review of this, um, you'll have to pardon uh, me for an error. Uh, when I go to paste this in, I get this, oh, hello. Oh, okay, now it doesn't give me the error, but I was getting an error saying, um, that I guess some of the mods aren't in this world, and uh, this is the the contest world, so I think that maybe not all the mods were added to it or something. So there's probably some missing parts. Um, nice little docking doors, I like that. Anyway, there's some missing parts to this, uh, but it seems to work fine, I believe. Anyway, so there's there's probably like aesthetic features that will not show up, unfortunately. Um, my apologies for that, mock velocity. Um, this hopefully still does it some justice, but yeah, there. Like I imagine there might have been like some nice little like maybe a a plant in the foyer here, or uh, I don't know. I don't know what was on the mod list. I have to, I have to just kind of pretend, um, you know, like. Uh, I don't think it was anything vital to its operation, but I could be wrong. But we'll find out soon here. So this is the printing area. And like I think I already tested this like a while ago when the contest was still running. And it worked very well. So, And I think it had that error back then too. So I think it was just a mod I'm missing. Sorry. Apologies again. Ari. So, oh yeah, the Phil's diagnostic screen thing. Oh yeah, it's cool. Runs quickly, actually. Um, some sometimes it lags, but this is running nice and quickly, so that's good. Maybe it's the update. Maybe it's just me. Uh, oh, I actually never toured this spot here. Oh yeah. Oh, just yeah. It doesn't need doesn't need gigawatts here. Yeah, that's cool. A little decorative pillars. Very nice. Very nice. And this is the cargo access on the floor. Uh -huh. Very cool. I imagine it's pretty symmetrical, being a. a Oh no, this is the, okay, it's not like full symmetry mode going on, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely some, some efficiency happening here. What do we have over on this side? Assembly room, hey, I haven't toured this. Oh, that's good. You need those, because you're going to need components for your missiles. Uh, oh, do we have a, yeah, life support. So this is oxygen generators and ventilation. That's turned off, probably, to optimize the... Oh yeah, so see, this air tightness was irrelevant to the contest anyway. So he's added it because he knows that us, uh, you know, you know, space cowboys have to fight space pirates on a regular, and um, we like to breathe good old-fashioned oxygen. So right, it's a little touches like that that I think, I mean not just building it for the contest, he's building it for us. Cannon control. Okay, this is where I want. Oh, I'm liking it. Instructions. Alright. Acquire the target with the camera. Press 2. And etc. 10 seconds. You don't want to jam it. Oh my god, I forgot to warn you guys. My station, if you jam it, just good luck. Just good luck. So, I'm going to see if I can do this. Um... So there's controls right here, but if I go to the camera, just oh, it's dark. It's dark on this surface. See, see the this 
It, it, oh, okay, it's twitchy and it's a little bit confusy. So I have a theory that that's not what he exactly would have intended for me to do. I'm going to look for him. Uh, I think I found a remote control. So when I control this, I have a theory that this is the... Oh, um, uh, hold, hang on. Okay. Boop. Oh, uh, let me just see if this is just even oriented. I think this is what I would... Oh. No, no, no. Autopilot enabled. Uh-oh. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Forget I did that. Forget I did that. Let's just... Let's just do this. Okay, so I'm like 90 degrees, so this that's why I'm confused. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to do a calibration shot, because as... If I remember correctly, this... Um, oh, God. Come on. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so I think I just have to press 2. Oh god. Stay, stay, stay. Stay still. Um. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Did I do anything? Did I do it wrong? It'd help if I read the instructions. Ah. 10 seconds are up. So... I will. I'm gonna aim it a little better. I think I got off target. So this is tricky to aim because I'm not doing it quite right. Uh, again, my apologies. This. Oh, I'm wrong button. Ah, that's the one. All right. So this is just a calibration shot. So I'm gonna press two again. We should have a projectile away. Good. Now I think I think I know which way it's gonna veer. I think I do. Well, I was aimed right about at that rectangle there. So we're going to see where it goes. And uh, this is a kinetic impactor. So as soon as it enters the gravity, it will go a little bit off course. And all I have to do is sort of measure how far off course I was and compensate. So um, bear with me. It might not be. Oh, it's just not in the gravity yet. I think it... Give it a moment. Okay, it looks like it's going down and to the left, mostly to the left. So I've got to compensate for that by going, yeah. So I gotta go like equidistant. And. Let's see. Okay, stop drifting. Stop drifting. Is that about equidistant? Where's the impact site gonna be? Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, okay, so this will hit it, I believe. Oh, did I wait 10 seconds? I hope I waited 10 seconds. I think the 10 seconds a lot's for like, a lot of, um, leeway. Yeah, that worked just fine. That was about like, two seconds, so. Um, I was taking a risk there. <coughs> and now I can print another one. This is the cool thing about this station. Is once it's ready, it's ready. And, and, and you can fire like quite a bit. Um, so I'm going to do like three in a row or something. Alright, now before that first one hits, I'm going to Space Master my way. Actually, I might try the entity less this time, see if it's a static grid. No! Uh, power base. Alright, so they're inbound from the stratosphere, from orbit. We got a volley headed right this way to, to the power base. Oh, here's the coming, the first one. Let's see if I can get a good view of this impact. Oh, gotta quickly tidy up my thing. Sorry about the amateur quality of my video making here. Yeah, let's see. It's all perfect. Oh, right in the tower. Boom. Oh, there goes the dynamite. Nicely demolished. Just severed the base of the tower. Got that thing out of the way. 
Now the other one should be like right in behind that, pretty much. Oh, there's secondary explosions going on still. Alright. Let's see this next one right on target. Right in the middle. Oh yeah, just drill a hole right through it. I think that first one drilled the hole through it, and now they're just gonna hit the voxel. And let's see, maybe there's a little bit of uh, randomness to it. Let's see. It's coming in hot. Nice warhead. And oh, it's exact. Yeah, that's pretty exact. So it just followed right in behind that last one. I mean, that's devastation right there. The voxel can even bear the brunt got a nice sized crater like just for a sense of scale I get right in the crater yep that's a hole we've we've Houston we have contact um, yeah that's that's a that's a success Zah. all right this is lieutenant commander Zaflo signing out um, signing out there we go enjoy